everybody. I am going to come to you guys with my favorites for the month of April. I am a little bit late and I was going to do it this past weekend, but of course I was a little bit under the weather. So I'm feeling a whole lot better. I'm not 100%, but I'm almost there. But I just have a few things that I would like to show. And the first thing I wanted to start off with is a couple of nail products that I have been really, really rocking for April. And the first one is this Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. And this is in the color 420, Back to the Fuchsia. And this is in like one of their ads. I saw like it's this color and like a peachy color that was in the ad. But I've had this for a long time and it still has a very good consistency. Here is what the brush looks like. So it has kind of a thicker brush and you're supposedly able to just apply one coat and be out the door. And it's actually very similar to the color that I'm using right now. Um, I absolutely love this. I will repurchase this. Um, mine is about down to about, like I have probably a little bit less than half left. But this is a really pretty color. It's fun for the summer and the spring. I absolutely have been loving that. And then to do a top coat, I've been using Seisha Beat. And I saw a lot of different reviews on this product. You can find this at, I believe, Sally Beauty Supply. I found mine on Amazon.com. And um, mine was about a little bit less than $5. Um, and I've been using it, as you can see, it's down to about right here. And I've only been using it for maybe about two months or so. And I do my nails just about once per week. And this stuff, I'm telling you, it is the best top coat that I've ever used. It's a fast dry top coat. You can actually apply it while your nails your nails are still a little bit um, damp. And um, like I use it on my nails and I have very, very minimal chipping. I chipped this one, but I was really hard on it today. Um, but it does last for quite some time. The next things that I wanted to show are my lip products that I was loving for April. And the first one is this Micah Beauty Cosmetics um, Tinted Lip Balm. And this is in the color number 5 Natural. And when you open it up here, it's kind of what it looks like. And it's kind of almost like a stain. There it is on my finger. And then let's see if I can get it to show up here that's the color and then I've been kind of pairing that with like just like you know a similar colored lip gloss or I've also been putting this over the top and actually this is from these are both from my Ipsy so this is from my Ipsy bag a couple of months ago and then this one is the bare minerals get ready um color in the marvelous moxie lipstick and it's a little bitty tube and it, it almost matches um, there it is right here, and that's the tinted lip balm, but I absolutely love this, and it has like kind of a florally smell to it, I think I got, I don't know, but anyways, I got some on my nose, but, um, I love this stuff, and Bare Minerals has like been my favorite beauty brand since I was in, I don't know, since I was in high school, but I know my college days. So just moving right along, um, one, another thing that I've really, really been loving is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder, and this is in the color Sheer. So when you open it up, it has this poop, which I actually like using, and you can just put your fingers underneath it, and then the powder is distributed, and it has like a sifter, and I still have a lot of the product left. This was $6 from eyeslipspace.com, um, but I think that I got it for 50% off, because I usually wait until they have a 50% off another color that I've really really been loving is my Elizabeth Mott and this is another Ipsy shout out to Ipsy because they have been putting me on to some really good products so this is the Elizabeth Mott pop goes the shadow and this is what it looks like and this is in the color champagne and when you open it up it's just a really nice champagne color I actually have it I had it on my inner um, tear ducts since early this morning and it's actually still it was still showing pretty well um, but it's just a really nice shimmery shimmery color there it is right there and that's just with like one little swipe so I um, I think these run like $18 or so so it's kind of an expensive brand but I think this will last me for quite some time and you can actually use it up underneath your eyebrows you can use it for highlighting you can use it for a lot of different things so, let's 
just going to put these lip products back because I've been kind of using those this week as well. Um, for my mascara, I have been using both of these, and these are both actually Wet n Wild. One is the Mega Length and one is the Mega Lash in their mascaras that I got from Dollar Tree. So this one, I layer them, and I do have those in today. This is the brush, and I really, really like this. Um, if I can find some more of these at Dollar Tree, I'm going to get some more because these are it's a really good formula for a dollar. You cannot beat that. And then this one, I think I showed it in like a weekly favorites or something, but it has like this um, brush that's kind of thin on the sides and then thicker on the other sides. Hopefully you could see that. But I've been loving those two together or separately because a lot of times like I usually keep this in my makeup bag at work and then this one I usually keep here at my vanity so I usually use this um before I actually leave for work for um let's go ahead and I'm gonna put those back as well and um give me just a second because I forgot my primer Okay, so for my face primer, I've been using this Smashbox Photo Finish, and this is the UVA um, SPF 15, and this is a 0.5 fluid ounce, and as you can see, I don't even know if you can see that, but um, there's a little bit left in the tube, and so I'm trying to use this one up before I start on any new ones. Um, I actually have been using the e.l.f. one as well, so um, that is that, and then for my blush, I've been using my... Um, elf blush and this is in pink passion so there it is it's such a pretty springy color i love it it's um very very nice and um again with the elf for eyeshadow my elf prism palette and i don't want to blind you because there's a big mirror at the bottom but there are the colors and this one is in sunset and i actually have this coral color on today and I had it on yesterday, too, and I got compliments both times that I wore it. I mean, these are very, very, very pigmented. They're very shimmery. I'm going to do a swatch of that coral color. I don't even know. You probably won't be able to see it with the lighting over here. But there it is right there. And these are just really, really easy to work with. They're pretty. And I actually had did this um, purpley color on my crease. And so it was just like a really pretty, like, wash of color. Um, and then for another eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing out, you can actually see how far I've hit pan on this one. And that is my, um, Wet n Wild Color Icon in Sweet is Candy. And here are the colors that you get. As you can see, I've hit major pan on the pink. It's like a pale pinky color. And there it is. And then this, um, is a really pretty, like, shampoo or not champagne, it's a really pretty like chocolatey brown, almost like an off brown, metallic-y brown color, and then the brow bone color is right there, and so that is all of the colors swatched, and this video is probably not going to do these colors justice, but I love this, and I love to pair this with my color tattoo in inked in pink, because it kind of matches that um, satiny pink color, and so I have been wearing this a lot over the month of April as well so there it is right there and you can't really see it but it is like an icy pink color so that's really pretty and then the final products um, I have my elf makeup mist and set I love this this has been in my favorites before my weekly favorites before I just spritz this all over my face before I leave and it sets everything my makeup usually lasts all day and then for my fragrance or slash body products, I've been loving my beautiful day. And this is a 10 ounce shower gel. This is actually, I'm just taking this right outside of my shower. I've been using this like heck. And of course, I've been using it with the Fine Fragrance Mist. And then I just picked up the lotion not too long ago, um, like in my last um, haul for Bath & Body Works. So there's that. And so those are the products. <laughs> just dropped it in the sink. But anyways, those are the products that I have been going cuckoo and crazy over. I love those things. Um, and also, just for like an actual real perfume, I've been loving this. Um, this is comparable to Britney Spears. And this one is called Carnival. And I got it from Dollar Tree. As you can see, I put quite a little dent in it. And it kind of reminds me of... 
cotton candy, but like fruity cotton, fruity, fruitiness with cotton candy and like just, it's very, very spring summer to me, but it's such a pretty bottle. And, um, I think that it's from the preferred fragrance line. Let me see if I can find the box real quick. Okay, so yeah, I tried to keep the box because I thought it was really pretty, but it says Carnavale, and it says Auto Parfum Spray, and this is, it just says that it's a comparable to, um, not Fantasy, I think I said Fantasy earlier, it's Circus by Britney Spears. So, and it's, you can see it right there, our version of Circus by Britney Spears, and I love it. I mean, like I said, I can't really even pinpoint, um, the notes that are in this, but to me it just smells like cotton candy and fresh like fruits and different things it'd be like fruity kind of almost like a it kind of has a floral note to it as well but I love this and you get 3.3 fluid ounces for an auto parfum from Dollar Tree I think that that is a great deal it's a very pretty package I think this will be a good gift for anyone so anyways those are my products and I luckily am feeling a lot better and I just hope that everybody has a great week and if I don't see you guys before then, have a good Mother's Day weekend and take care. Bye.